Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. This is Jenny with uh, Market Like a Nerd. I'm a Facebook ads manager over here at Market Like a Nerd. And welcome. Good afternoon. I am back. So excited to be here today. I just wanted to talk to you and give you some some quick nuggets about before you get actually um, get started with your Facebook lives. Um, Had some questions go in, and I uh, just want to address a few things. So today. We're going to talk about um, why you shouldn't go live with Facebook if you don't have these five things. Okay, so um, before you get uh, started with any Facebook ad and you actually smack that publish button and you um, actually go live with your Facebook ad, um, uh, um, with your Facebook ads, you want to make sure you have these five things. Okay, so the first thing is you want to have a long term mindset. All right, you want to understand that with Facebook, Facebook can actually be and should be a long term game. Okay, so Facebook isn't one of those things where you want to just think that when you come on, you're going to put some money in, you're going to get it right back out. You have to understand again, and I went over this in another video that there's like three levels of return on investment, right? To get your ROI, your return on investment. And so the first phase I went over was return on interest, return on influence, and return on income. So you can watch one of my previous videos, and I think that was my last live, where I actually kind of went into that and talked about that. Okay? So you want to be willing to um, understand that you are going to spend money or and or lose money to acquire data. Okay? So that's the first thing. So you want to have the mindset that this is a long-term game that you're actually playing. All right? Now the next thing is that number two, you want to next, you want to have your customer journey mapped out. So you want to have your intention, your strategy. You want to know exactly why people are actually coming on, uh, and you actually want to. I'm sorry, why you're actually turning your ads on, and what actions you want your um, your customers or potential customers actually take. Okay, so that's number two. All right. So that's the second thing that you must have is you must have your customer journey. The first one is that you must have a long term mindset and understand that you are putting the money in to actually acquire data. All right. Now, the third thing you want to have is you want to have captivating assets. So that's your landing pages. That's your um, copy. That's your images. That's your video, your messaging. All of these things matter. OK. And if you don't have an idea on what that is, you want to do the proper research. You can do things like going on Amazon and looking at different book titles, look at forums and Facebook groups and seeing the messaging and the words that people are actually using. And you can use that in your video, use that in your um, on your image copy and on your landing pages and make sure that all making sure that all of that is cohe is all the same okay and capturing the attention with your ideal client or um, perfect avatar right so that's the third thing so the first one was a long-term mindset a customer journey mapped out with your intention and your strategy then captivating assets your landing pages copy and then the next one is knowing your numbers. You need to work backwards, okay? Working back, backwards and actually understanding what is your sales goal. And with that sales goal, all right, um, how many customers do you, I mean, how many leads do you actually have to acquire, all right, to actually meet that sales goal? And then from there, how much budget, budget that, does that require? So you don't want to go into the mindset first with, well, I only have $500 to $600 a, um, a month. Let's first meet your sales. Let's first understand what your actual sales goal is okay because if you can actually get to the point where you're putting so much in and getting that sales back wouldn't you want to give Facebook more yeah you're getting the money to reinvest back into your business okay and now number five is money using Facebook ads is amplifying was already working and allowing you to acquire data all right much faster than you know sending off a whole bunch of pitches and going in Facebook groups and organic traffic and things of that nature now those things can help and but Facebook can amplify that and do that faster so it goes back to number one where you want to have that mindset about actually coming into Facebook ads and not coming into using advertising that you just lost money or that didn't go that the way that you expected 
and you want to have the mindset that you're acquiring data all right now if you don't have the time then that means you're using your money so that you can get speedy you know speedy you know get more your information and your data at a more speedy rate okay so you're not just doing all of the manual labor of marketing all right you're allowing Facebook to kind of run like on autopilot day on night getting your getting your data getting bringing you leads and closing customers okay depending on your customer journey because closing customers may actually be for you that they're actually getting on a phone call and you're actually closing those customers okay but um when you you know it may be that you're using facebook to actually build up that warm audience okay and then bring them in as leads to maybe schedule an appointment okay so um those are the five things that you must have okay before you actually hit that facebook publish um publishing that ad okay and i want you to just Think about that because there again goes back to number one is a long-term mindset. You must have your two have your your customer journey mapped out. Three have captivating um, assets, landing pages, video. Okay, and I'm sorry. It looks like I'm having a bit of a problem with my internet here. So <laughs> um, three, you want to know your numbers. So work backwards. Know what's your sales goal. Don't come in here with a don't come in with a scarcity mindset that you're losing money. Understand that it takes time to use, uh, put the money into Facebook, gather the data so that you can optimize, improve what's working, get rid of what's not, and scale up, meaning put more money, all right, into what's actually working, all right, so you can get more results. Pictures starting out from a low budget and then you've grown where you're getting an all eye of income coming in where now you can reinvest and scale those results up faster okay that's what you're paying facebook to do so don't be scared of that phase all right and most people think that it's like this little short little runway right when a plane takes off talked about this before when a plane takes off it has a long runway right for it to actually take off all right so think about your facebook ads in that same mindset and finally again money money the money that you're investing that you're putting into Facebook is actually speeding up the time so that you can acquire your ideal customers and clients faster all right and it's actually giving you your time back and allow you to amplify your reach to the masses even faster all right so I want you to just take that and just understand that these are the five things okay that actually that you actually need before you publish a Facebook ad. So it's not all about just the tracking and things of this nature. It's the strategy. It's the mindset. All right. And um, so I hope that helps. And I, you know, like this, and again, this can depend on your business. There's two things. There's one, one other thing. And if you are just starting out and you don't have any data on your business, then it's going to take you a little bit longer. You could be dealing with not a lot of data and you're using Facebook, but you also have a smaller budget versus someone who maybe has an optimized funnel. They have organic traffic. They, they, know they, num they know their numbers and all of these things, you know, because they're not just starting out and they have a budget to put in. So your, run your runway could be lo even longer based upon where you are. So accept where you are and understand that there's a process depending on where you're coming in. Because if you're coming in with no data, but maybe you have more of a budget, depending on your sales goal and stuff too, and you have more budget, you can acquire that data much faster to speed that up and scale. But if you're coming in and you have a less budget, all right, depending on your sales goal, because we want to focus on the sales goal first and work backwards, but you have a less, you know, less of a budget, all right, and, um, and but you have, you have maybe data, and you're making money, but you have data, well, that can also, you know, show you different results. So it just depends on the stage that you are, okay? So I hope this helps, and again, remember, before you actually publish your Facebook ads, you want to have the mindset um, that this is a long-term game. You want to have your customer journey ma mapped out with intention. You want to have clear, captivating um, assets that with the right messaging, all right? And you want to know your numbers so you can work backwards based upon your sale goal, and you want to and you want to have money. All right. Uh, if you don't have the money, depending on that stage, if you you know if that budget doesn't give you um, 
the you know the funds for that sales go understand that your ramp your your runway is going to be a little bit longer okay so have a good night and we'll be back with something else next week